Against the backdrop of continuous negative surprises in Czech inflation figures, the question remains if the central bank will decide to increase the Euro-Czech crown exchange rate floor of 27. Comments from central bankers, however, suggest that the bank would prefer to prolong the intervention interval while not increasing the targeted exchange rate. The fair value of the crown has also grown stronger, suggesting an already undervalued situation in the Czech currency. Joining us from Prague today is our macroanalyst Jan Sedina. Hi, Jan. Hi. Jan, I'll start with the first question. Uh, can economic growth stimulate inflation figures enough for the National Bank not to act? So in 2014, uh, this shouldn't be the case because uh, the ec economy actually remains in a slack mode. Uh, the total amount of unemployed persons is actually uh, close to the historically highest levels. Also, the wages are stagnating. So in 2014, we don't expect any significant inflationary pressures uh, just coming from the Czech economy. So in 2015, uh, the, si the situation or the story will be quite different because, of course, in 2015, we expect uh, quite stronger GDP growth by 2.7% and also a uh, negative effect of declining energy prices will, will diminish from the CPI in 2015. So actually in 2015 uh, we see the CPI uh, to grow slightly above 2%, 2.3% 2 uh, in 2015. Okay. How far would the inflation rate have to decline to trigger an increase in the targeted level of 27 in the euro Czech crown exchange rate? Uh, well, in our opinion, this should be a decline by around 0.5%. Uh, however, we don't expect this scenario, scenario to come because, uh, as I said, we don't expect any inflationary pressures coming from the Czech economy in 2014, but also we don't expect any deflationary pressures. Uh, so, because uh, since the beginning of 2014, uh, the CPI remains flat, uh, there is a certain uh, risk related to uh, declining growth in food prices. Uh, however, we don't expect uh, this effect uh, to be very significant in 2014. So, actually, in our opinion, the, the inflation rate remained stable uh, in 2014. Okay. And how long do you think can the current intervention last? Well, first of all, the inflation rate must be above 2% uh, because of obvious uh, negative uh, impacts on, on the CPI growth of, of appreciating currency. Uh, so actually, this, the Czech National Bank's forecast is uh, for inflation in 2015 is 2.2%. Uh, and in case the CNB decides to or just revises uh, its forecast downwards, so it will result in, in postponement of, of FX intervention exit to, uh, let's say, to 2016. Uh, but actually, as I said, the, the forecast is 2.2% for uh, 2015. So we see the end of FX intervention regime to come uh, in the second half of 2015 uh, at the earliest. Okay, great. Jan? Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.